good morning from Logan's Pass. Got a little breakfast going. It is 8.10 right now. We got here at 6.30 and there were people already starting their hike. There's one thing I've learned about hikers, they know what they want and they go for it. There are people circling these parking lot right now. It is definitely full. We're gonna take the High Line Trail. Since there's no shuttle, it's a down and back all the way back to Logan's Pass. It's about 3,500 feet of gain and I believe around 17 miles round trip. This will be our longest distance hike. I'm not really too worried about it. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna finish our oatmeal here and then hit the trail. So we're at the Logan Pass Visitor Center. The High Line Trailhead is across the street. Watch is started and the journey begins. I'm quite excited for this one. It's kind of challenging. It's in our favorite park so far. I might not look at the camera a whole lot because, wow. my fear of heights. <laughs> this doesn't bother me at all. We're really far up here, living on the edge. Oh, and tripping too. <laughs> in a painting. There's no other way to describe it. Somebody painted this, I'm pretty sure. Probably Bob Ross. <laughs> hey, I have no clue why you would want to or need to take off your hiking boots and then forget them. It's a little concerning. No scenarios fit. Maybe, maybe a hiker retired. This would be a pretty good place to retire, actually. I would like to point out that we have seen on this trail this morning ages ranging between probably five years old to 70 something. Pretty much anyone could do it. You just don't have to go the full distance. We're only a mile and a half in. You do not have to hike 15 miles to get these views here at Glacier National Park. Go hike a mile in. Sit there, eat lunch, do whatever you want to do. It's going to be amazing no matter what. As far as our hiking equipment goes, we really haven't changed it up too much. We brought our one pair of trekking poles because we've learned our lesson on descents on long hikes in the past. If you want a list of what we normally bring, I can link it above.
I didn't do a whole lot of research on this trail as far as what it looked like, the actual trail, but I didn't know that we would just be walking on the side of a mountain for seven miles. Pretty excited about that. I can see why they call it Highline Trail now. Looking forward to that, not even a little bit. So this hike is supposed to be to the chalet, which is over there. And most people add on a mile to go to the glacier overlook. But if the chalet is there, and the beginning of the trail to the overlook is there, we have no reason to go to the chalet. We don't wanna buy anything. I'm here for the views. So we're heading straight up. I think I mentioned, but there's a thousand feet of gain in less than a mile. Feeling the burn. We've taken no less than five breaks and we're about halfway up. little stretch was not fun in any way shape or form it is worth it last thing there is to do eat a little treat I bought the saltwater taffy outside of Roosevelt National Park mm, that might become a new tradition Nathan informed me my pants are inside out And now, okay. the descent. Nathan and I finally pulled out the walking sticks. I gotta say, I noticed the difference and I actually like it. So on your way up, your motivation is the payoff, the view, the end. On your way down, your motivation is what am I gonna eat? So far we're landing on a big burrito or a large pizza or 14 tacos. Specifically 14. Specifically 14. We've made it to the bottom of that little extra mile. Now we only have a seven mile walk back to the car. At least it's like home and not just a car. It's not too hot. We may take a nap. 
then eat some pizza. I guess we're settling on pizza. Better be good pizza. I want tacos. I know we haven't walked the seven miles back to the van yet. We're gonna rate this trail a six and a half to a seven, only to the ascent up to the Glacier Lookout. But when you add on the Glacier Lookout, I'm calling this like an eight. Down didn't seem too bad. That up, I saw everybody struggle. easy when you're going downhill not to notice sometimes <laughs> but you definitely tell when you're going up even if slightly the whole route back so far has felt uphill and is uphill so something to keep in mind Absolutely beautiful. But honestly, this trail can end anytime now. Anytime. I think we guys still got another mile. The fact that we see this rope now means we are very close, and that is very exciting. It's such a beautiful sight. How are you feeling? We made it. So that was 16 miles in just under eight hours. That was tough. After eight hours on a trail, that is not the sign you want to see because there are no bathrooms at all on that trail, by the way. Turns out someone discharged their bear spray inside the bathroom and that is why it's closed. Yeah. Do you want any plates? 